Hello friends, in this part, we will discuss how to delete or remove data from MYSQL database, in Laravel 6 framework by using Ajax with bootstrap modal. In this Laravel 6 single page CRUD application tutorial series, we have already seen how to load MYSQL table data in Yadra data tables package in Laravel 6 framework. After this we have seen, how to insert or add data in MYSQL table in Laravel 6 using Ajax with bootstrap modal, and lastly we have seen how to update MYSQL table data in Laravel 6 using Ajax. Now here we will how to use Ajax and Bootstrap modal, for delete MYSQL table data in Laravel 6 framework. For this, we have go to sampledata.blade.php file, we have already make delete button, at the time of load data in Yadra data table package. So here, we have already put bootstrap modal code, we will use bootstrap modal for pop-up confirmation box. In bootstrap modal, first we have write id is equal to confirm modal, we will use this id attribute for pop-up modal box in jQuery code. After this, we have change modal title with text like confirmation. For display message, here we have write are you sure you want to remove this data, this message will be display under bootstrap modal. Now we have go to modal footer class, and here for confirm delete data, we have write button type is equal to button, name and ID is equal to OK button, by click on this button, then delete data Ajax request will send, otherwise no action will be taken. After this, we have go to jQuery code, and first here we have define, user ID variable, under this variable we will store value of particular user ID details. Below this, we have write, dollar document with on method, and under this we have write click event, with delete button class delete, so when user click on delete button then it will execute this block of code. Under this block, we have write user id variable equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id it will fetch id attribute value and store under user id variable below this we have write dollar with modal id confirm modal with modal method and under this we have write show it will pop up confirm modal on web page. Now we have write dollar with modal button ID, OK button with click event, so when user confirm by OK button, then it will execute this block of code. Under this block, we have start write Ajax request, and under this first we have write URL option set to, sample slash destroy slash user id variable it will send get request to destroy method of sample controller in second option we have write before send callback function this function has been called before send of ajax request under this block we have write dollar with ok button id ok button with text method and under this method we have write deleting this code will change ok button text with deleting text lastly we have write success callback function 
This function has been called after success of Ajax request. Under this function, we have write set timeout function. This callback function has been called in specified time. Here we have write 2000. So this function will called after 2 seconds. Under this function, we have write dollar with modal ID confirm modal with modal method, and under this we have write hide, it will hide bootstrap modal from web page. After deleting of data, we want to refresh data table record, so here we have write dollar with table ID, user table with data table method, dot ajax dot reload method, it will refresh data table data on web page, without refresh of web page. Lastly, we want to display pop up alert message on web page, so here we have write alert, with message like data deleted, this message will be pop up on web page. Now we have go to, destroy method of sample controller, this method will request Ajax request for delete data. Here in this method argument, we can see sample data modal class, with dollar sample data variable, so first we have remove this, and here we have write dollar ID variable. Under this method, we have write dollar data variable is equal to sample model class, with find or fail method with dollar ID as argument, this method will return related model, based on its primary key. So, here we have store data in dollar data variable, now here we have write dollar data variable with delete method, this method will delete data from the database. Now we have checkout in browser. Friends first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, now we want to remove first row of data, so here we can see delete button in each row. So, we have click on delete button, after click on delete button, here we can see bootstrap modal has been pop up with confirmation box, with OK and cancel button. First we have click on cancel button, then no action has been taken and bootstrap modal has been hide from web page. Now we have again click on delete button, again we can see bootstrap modal with confirmation box, but now we have click on OK button. After click on OK button, here we can see button text change to deleting, and after delete of data, bootstrap modal has been removed from web page, and first row of data has been removed from data table also. So, this way we can delete or remove data from MYSQL table in Laravel 6 framework by using Ajax and bootstrap modal, so this way we can implement Ajax CRUD in Laravel 6 framework, and this way we can make single page CRUD application in Laravel 6 framework using Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.